Hey guys, how's it going? It's Paleo Draw here, and welcome to another episode of Prehistoric Animal of the Month. This month's prehistoric animal is Lambiosaur, suggested by Spanish One. Now without further ado, let's begin. Lambiosaurus was a type of hydrosaur dinosaur, the same group that contains the more popular Parasaurolophus. What usually sets each of these dinosaurs apart is the size and shape of the large crests on their heads. More on that later. The complex story of Lambiosaurus began in 1902, with the discovery of hydrosaur limb material and other bones from Alberta, Canada. The remains were nested under the name Trachodon by paleontologist Lawrence Lamb. Other paleontologists continued to find better remains of hydrosaurids from the same rocks in the 1910s. And in 1914, Lamb assigned two new skulls to Trachodon. Later on in 1923, Geologist William Parks proposed a new genus and species for the skulls, honoring the now deceased Lawrence Lamb. This is where the name Lambiosaurus was born. The early workers in Alberta also found the remains of a juvenile Lambiosaurus, but interpreted these fossils as a small adult hadrosaur, part of a distinct lineage of hadrosaurids, the subfamily Geniosaurinae. In 1935, fossil collector Charles M. Sternberg named three more species that relate to Lambiosaurus. It wasn't until around 30 years later that Lambiosaurus would get the spotlight again. In 1964, paleontologist John Ostrom noted that an old species of Lambiosaurus, based on two partial skeletons from Alberta, might actually belong to another dinosaur named Hypacrosaurus. But it wasn't until the 1990s that this was actually confirmed. As of now, Lambiosaurus sits as a valid genus with three different species, each with uniquely shaped head crest. As far as hydrosaurs go, Lambiosaurus is no joke. While size estimates are about as consistent as my upload schedule, the largest individual will still measure up to nearly 15 meters and weigh around 5 tons. To put that in perspective, that's about the size of a city bus. The most distinctive feature of Lambiosaurus is the crest which is often described as being axe-shaped. The rear projection of the crest is solid while the forward projection is hollow with a network of passages thought to be used for sound protection. However, there are other ideas for what the crest was used for. Perhaps the most interesting one being that it allowed for the storage of salt glands, special organs that allow excess salt from the environment to be excreted. However, the presence of salt glands is usually associated with marine animals that live in areas with higher levels of salt, so this idea doesn't hold up particularly well. The theory that best explains the different crest forms is that they were used in display. Different species of Lambiosaurus would be able to tell each other apart by the different shapes of head crests as well as any other hydrosaurs that were in the same area. Another idea concerning the crest is that of sound. The forward part of the crest is hollow with a network of tubes, which very well may have formed a resonating chamber for amplifying calls. And because of the different crest variations between species, the sounds they made would have also been different. A study done on Corethosaurus, another similar hydrosaur, also suggests that these types of dinosaurs had very good hearing, which would have been incredibly important in communicating with each other. The environment Lambiosaurus lived in was incredibly rich in vegetation, with a variety of rivers, floodplains, and forests. The animals it lived with were just as diverse, with dinosaurs like the horned Styracosaurus and Chasmosaurus, the duck-billed Parasaurolophus and Corythosaurus, the armored Iopocephalus and Edmontonia, and the Tyrannosaur Gorgosaurus. Despite so much being known about Lambiosaurus, it really hasn't had much of a large media presence only being featured in games like Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis, and Prehistoric Kingdom. Recently, it's gotten a spotlight in the rightly acclaimed short film, A More Ancient Spring by Dead Sound. Alrighty, that concludes April's Prehistoric Animal of the Month. As always, leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments, check out the merch for some paleo gear, and join the Discord to hang out with some cool dino-loving nerds. And as always, keep your pencils sharp.